Hello, this is Jack from Teaching ESL Online. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you inside the zoom.us platform. Now this is some software that you can use to connect with people online, and it's really good for teaching online lessons. So I'm gonna review the different features and show you exactly what you can do with it. So keep watching. Okay, so here I am inside Zoom. Uh, you can probably see that it's a very um, you know, basic kind of platform. Now, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that you can do. Firstly, you can start without a video. So you can start some kind of you know, meeting without a video or with a video. So it depends on what you want to do with that. Now you can schedule a meeting and I'm gonna click this and show you the options. So you can call it any kind of name, give it the, the start date, say how long it's gonna be for. And something I really like is that you can make it a recurring meeting. So when you create some type of meeting like this to schedule, then it gives you a link and you can share this link with you know, your students or whoever you want to share it with. Now, if you're taking classes on a weekly basis, then clicking this recurring meeting makes things a lot easier for you. Um, you can decide who can have their video on when joining a meeting. Um, lots of different options here as well. And then you can add it to your calendar. So when you schedule it, I'm actually logged in under my um, Google account. So it means that when I schedule a meeting, it automatically goes on my calendar, which is really cool. And it can go on the calendar of your, your students too. Now you can see all your, um, you can join a, just a, a different one here as well. So if you click this, you can enter the meeting ID. So for example, if your student has you know, created a meeting or your student wants to join your meeting, then they can just quickly join that there. Um, now, if we go into the settings, you can see, you know, general settings, just um, the, the different things, you know, that, that you can use. Full screen mode um, when starting a video or uh, sharing a screen fit to a video. Something I like, enable dual stream for dual monitor. You know, if you have two monitors and you can get both streams going on there. Um, just, you know, some other options there too. You can decide which microphone you want to use. So I can you know, use the webcam, the microphone I'm using now, or the built-in one. You can decide which speakers you want to use as well. The video is, hello everybody. The video, you can decide which camera you want to use. So I'm using my external one, but this is the other one as well. This has a different focus on it. Um, you can see the quality's um, a little bit better too. You can leave feedback. Something that's really cool about Zoom is you can automatically record your meetings and they will go into um, a folder that you decide you want to use. Um, so that, that's something that's really great if you want to send the, record, the recording of the lesson to your learners. Um, your account is here and then something else it talks about, you know, the statistics about how much uh, memory it's using up. Um, you can see it's very, very low. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start with a video. You see it's very quick. Now, as I say, you know, if you're gonna schedule your meeting, then you can do so. Um, this is a little bit cool. So yeah, you, you can schedule a meeting um, by you know using your Zoom uh, dashboard. But if you just wanna start a meeting as well, then you can invite people. You can see down here, you can invite people. You can manage participants when they come in as well. And then you can screen share. Now, one other thing as well, you can chat. So the, the chat is really good. It's like a pop-out chat and it saves it. If you have a Google account, it saves it and sends it to your Google account too. And you can decide when you want to record any kind of meeting. So you can start the recording at some later date if you want to do that. Now, what I want to do now is share my screen and go back to the Zoom. Um, the reason I'm doing this, this is, you can see my little video here. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I can show you the plans that Zoom um, offers, but also there's something really cool because when you're sharing a screen, you can also use annotations. And I'm gonna use these um, I've not had too much practice with them, but I'm gonna use these to highlight a few things on this page. So if we start with the plan, so basic plan is, is, is going to be what you need unless you want to do group lessons that last over 40 minutes. So if I just like 
take this, I can use um, some kind of spotlight. So maybe I'm going to use an arrow. And I can just, for example, say here, one-to-one -one meetings, you get unlimited one-to-one -one meetings on any kind of plan. You get um, unlimited number of meetings as well. And as I say here, this is a, the key thing. Group meeting duration, 40 minutes per meeting, if you get the basic plan. And now this is obviously if you have a few learners in your lessons. Now the pro, this is where you get unlimited group, um, group, group lessons. So the only reason really to go pro is to um, be able to do those group lessons. Now something else I want to point out, I'm just gonna close this down a second. Um, you can see you can just delete your little annotations too. But the cloud video conferencing, okay, it has HD video and HD voice. It has that dynamic voice detection. So if you have a few people in there, then it will show who you know is speaking at that time. Um, you can join by telephone call as well. It, this group collaboration, it's going to work on any kind of device. You have these group messages. Um, as I say, screen sharing. You can share a screen on your iPhone, which is a really cool thing. Um, Co-annotation on shared screen, so your learners can also annotate at the same time, which is really cool. And it says here whiteboarding as well. Now, the, the rest of it, you know, is is going on you know about different things and the security and all these different types of um, you know features it has but the the number one thing I feel about zoom is that the connection is really really good I've tested it against other platforms and for me it's it's by far the best so if you have a learner or if you yourself have um, low bandwidth and you don't have a really good connection to the internet then I'd really recommend using zoom because it's going to give you that really good connection. So that's probably the, the biggest benefit of using Zoom. In addition to you know the how small the software is, it works really well. I haven't found any bugs um, concerning it. And also this this annotation. This annotation, um, so much you can do with it. You know, in your lessons you can you can have like a freehand pen. Um, not gonna sh not quite sure what that is. Um, but you can spotlight things, as I said. You have an eraser. You can um, show your mouse. You know, if 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 like your um, want to show your mouse, you can show your mouse. You can change the colors of things. You can undo stuff, clear everything on on the screen as well. So you, you know, you can think of all the different applications that you can use with these annotations, and it's kind of like a way to use a whiteboard. Um, so yeah, that that is my review of Zoom. What I suggest you do is try it out with you know a friend or someone, one of your students right now. Um, the the drawback is that your students, generally speaking, won't have heard of Zoom, and there will be that like little bit of a barrier for them to get started. But what I suggest you do here is create some some instructions so they know exactly what to do when it's time to take a lesson. You know you give them the link, you tell them to to download the software, to sign up, etc using something like Skype is easier in that sense because your students will already know about Skype and already use it. But, you know, Zoom, you're going to have that little bit of a barrier. But I don't think it's anything to worry about, really. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Oh, one last thing. If you have any questions, leave them below the video. I'd love to hear your feedback and if you've used Zoom as well. So thanks for watching.